hi friends welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in this will be a very quick video i wanted to share with you what i've been reading uh, and what i'm currently reading actually in preparation for the open book festival and um, so for those who don't know and i'm sure a huge majority of you guys don't know because i think a lot of my subscribers are not from cape town or south africa um yeah anyway so the open book festival is a literary festival that is based here in again in cape town and i am doing a couple of events during this festival and i thought i would share with you just what i've been reading in preparation for some of the events um yeah i hope that's cool and before i move on actually um for those of you who follow me on instagram if you're not following me you're very welcome to do so um yes you would have seen that i was in the uk for the edinburgh international um book festival and i yeah i had about a what a two week trip in the uk so i'm just wondering if you guys want to see a vlog um about that let me know so comment below if you want to see a vlog my london edinburgh vlog let me know Anyway, so let's get into the books. So here is the program, open book program. And I'm just going to quickly talk you through some of the events that I am doing. And of course, if you happen to find yourself in Cape Town during this time, or you live um, in Cape Town, please do come through. I'd really appreciate that. Um, so the first event that I'm doing is actually a workshop. And by the way, I'll link all of this um all the information down below and you can just click and read more about it if you are keen so the first event i am doing is actually a workshop and it's called writing from the bone so it's a it's a poetry based workshop and i'm so excited for that so if you can oh actually the workshop you can't come to because i've heard that it's fully booked sorry about that um, but it would have been lovely if you could. Um, so the next event I am doing is called um, Poetry as Memoir. And so I am talking to Harry Garuba and Philippa Yard de Villiers about their recent collections. <clears throat> so this is Philippa Yard de Villiers collection. It's called Ice Cream headache in my bone and yeah lots and lots of poems in here i mean i'm i'm pretty much pooping myself to be honest <laughs> the fact that i get to speak to harry and philippa just because they are renowned poets um for me at least and i've always admired their work and to be moderating a conversation with them just seems it just seems a little insane, you know, um, but you know, I am going in with curiosity and excitement and hopefully the conversation will go really, really well. And I am almost done with both the, both the collections. Um, yeah, and I've really, really enjoyed it. Philippa, yeah, de Villiers plays around a lot with form and content of her of her poems which i actually really enjoy sometimes the poems are like poems poems sometimes the prose she just plays around very much with um the way she presents her poems and i just like i almost feel like with every poem there's like that one line that takes my breath away um sometimes i find the languaging a bit you know difficult to comprehend um so i'm constantly sitting there with a dictionary and trying to understand what words mean um so there is that um but it's a good challenge to get through and this one is by harry garuba and to be honest i'm quite surprised that i'm enjoying this collection as much as i am um yeah just because of also the title it kind of and what harry is known for you know it kind of like I don't know. I just didn't think I would enjoy it as much, you know, but I'm really, really liking his work. He is, he is vulnerable and, um, I like so far the kind of like 
snippets of his life that he's sharing with us and yeah so that's that um and i've done i've never done like proper full on um reviews of poetry collections is that a thing that you guys would be into anyway um this is what i am reading for the event that i just spoke about and like i said completely pooping myself but i'll be there poop and all that's disgusting but we're going with it and so the other event that I'm doing um, is called A Poetic Conversation, which I'm super excited for. Um, so, yeah, so I, to be honest, I just, you know, working in the literary world, for me, I see how things can be, you know, things can get slightly repetitive. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But for me, I don't know. I like... I don't know, I just like trying new things, you know, so I'm very fortunate to have been working in this industry in, you know, different capacities, so I do have the freedom to sort of curate events and work with different artists, you know, and I just enjoy presenting poetry or presenting literature in different forms i mean it's part of the reason why i am online reviewing books you know <laughs> um yeah i just like challenging myself in terms of what can be done with poetry and um other literary works so this event a poetic conversation is a collaboration between me and two other poets and we just literally going to be talking but only using our poems um i'll link everything down below and if you want to read more about it definitely do so and like i said if you're in cape town please come it's only 45 rand um and i believe there's still a few tickets left so if you can make it i'd really appreciate it the last event that i'm doing is called writing the self and i've had to read these three books here right so the first book i had to read was this one it's called born in chains the diary of an angry born free e clinton was born into poverty a very poor place with poor parents and he just talks us through his experience and how he managed to eventually get himself out of poverty it is he's very funny um so i really like the book uh and his stories you know i could see a lot of myself in it and a lot of my upbringing was very you know it was similar to his upbringing um just things that you go through when you are not from the you know when you're not born into wealth and into privilege so this is very very funny so the next book is this one it is called um we don't talk about it ever by desiree and martin um it's a memoir a girl who searched for love but found destruction instead i actually know desiree Anne. we are both part of the life writing collective and the life writing collective runs courses where you write about your life <laughs> so that's how I met Desiree Ann. So I'm so happy to see the fact that she's actually written her story and published it. it. And the book is doing really well. So it's quite fantastic and just inspiring, you know. Um, so the book is quite like... You need to put, you need to be in a certain state of, you know, state of mind. And unfortunately, I didn't have you know, the choice to be like, okay, I'm going to read this at a later stage just because obviously I have to prep, um, for the festival. Um, so I did feel sometimes overwhelmed just because it is a story about someone who suffers from mental health issues, someone who was, you know, was addicted, was, what, what do you call that? Who was an addict? Yeah. So someone who was an addict and, just where that life took her and the recovery process and all of that so it's quite a it can be overwhelming in places but it's really well written um yeah i can't congratulate desiree and enough on this great book um i'm actually done with this one as well um but yeah looking forward to talk to lola 
looking forward to talking to her about it. You see, when we go slow, we speak better. And the next one is this one called Afros. And I'll be honest, I have not started reading this. It's just because it's a lot to get through, you know. But I think I'll be done in a couple of days. As you can see, it's a very tiny book. And this is just a collection of poems and stories and short stories. And yeah, and it is written by all these authors here. And I think I'll only be speaking to one of them. So there, it's called Afros. So that was the video quick one i just wanted to show you what it is that i've been reading and prep for the open book festival again if you can come please do come and yeah if you guys want to see um if you guys want to see reviews of any of these books please let me know um i was actually thinking here's a sneaky preview i was thinking of asking um desiree if she will come on my channel and then we can have like an interview and talk about her book it's a sneaky preview i hope she says yes i know she's very busy at the moment but hoping yeah hoping she can be on the channel um and yes again let me know if you would like that london blog i am very happy to put it together for you but otherwise that is it for this video cool guys i really appreciate you um tuning in and if you're not subscribed you know what to do subscribe hit the notification button give me a thumbs up comment down below whatever it is you want to comment okay i need to stop talking <laughs> <laughs> cool guys that was the video thank you so much bye